One. Go, show, so. <laughs> Kids Ask is where we speak to some of the biggest stars of film, TV and music and we get kids to ask the questions. Yeah, because there's loads of stuff that, let's face it, we really want to ask the stars, but if we did it, we would probably get thrown out of the interview. And today, Kids Ask with the stars of Doctor Who, Jodie Whittaker and Mandip Gill. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Hiya. Oh, this is so exciting. You've got a Dalek next to you. I know, yeah. we've come prepared. Yeah, it's with us. <laughs> it's just as I mate. Well, let's do it. Here is your first question, which comes from gorgeous, lovely Rufus. Hi, my name's Rufus, and I'm 10 years old, and my favourite TV show of all time is Doctor Who. Yeah, so far, so good. My question is, is there anyone that really annoyed you on the set? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, come on. No. We do love everyone, but there's things that like, I can't cope with people in my eye line. <laughs> oh, I should have answered that. I can't cope with it. The person who's always responsible, who always gets shouted at is Robbo the Grip, because he's usually <laughs> right there. And he's he's got a bald head and he sometimes has a little scratch or he like pulls his glasses back up or he's adjusted his mask and I'm like, Robbo! Rubbo, you're in my eye line. <laughs> so that, that is my thing. Do you know what's perfect? That's a perfect answer because the person that annoys me is Jodie when she shouts at Robbo. <laughs> She's got a thing going on going, why do you keep shouting at him? And, and when Jodie's not in, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a nice day today. And he's like, no one's going to shout at us, Robbo. <laughs> Great start. I mean, that was a strong start. That was a great shall, start. shall we move on to Elizabeth now? Hey, I'm Elizabeth. I'm 11 years old and I love Doctor Who. Okay. okay, my question is, Jodie, why are you leaving Doctor Who? <gasps> oh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> when I first signed up, I signed up to do three seasons. And I can tell you now, Elizabeth, there was a many a day where I had a wobble and I felt that I made a terrible mistake. But, and then at any point, I could have actually probably changed. But once we started to shoot the final series, I think that's when my biggest wobble happened and I thought what the heck am I doing leaving the best job I've ever done but you know what it's the best job because it's happened at this moment and no one can ever take these memories away and hopefully I'm still going to be living my best life <laughs> in a few years to come but I just felt that this show deserves new energy and but I think I don't know if I'm happy with my decision even now. <laughs> I'm still upset about it. <laughs> you won't have Robbo in your eyeline anymore. <laughs> Mandy, are you gonna are you gonna miss Jodie on no. set? <laughs> no. <laughs> You've never been shouted at for being in her eyeline. <laughs> okay, let's now move on to Max. Hi, my name is Max. I am 11 years old, and I love coding and absolutely adore Doctor Who. Have you made any funny bloopers on the set? And if so, what is your favourite one? Great question. This is Lord. What's your favourite though? All right, go. I've got no, you go, you no, go, wait, you go I first. I got that. Saying. Okay, you go. Has this ever been said to you before? But you remind me of the two sisters from Gogglebox. Are they really, really beautiful? <laughs> they're beautiful. <laughs> they're funny, and they're from Leeds. And used to just talking to each other now. <laughs> remind me of the two. And it's a compliment. So I, I have got terrible potty mouth and I sit on the naughty step a lot because I am appalling. So there's quite a few things that need to be edited when I mess up and I say things that cannot be repeated. All right, we've got a question. This is a big one actually from um, from William. Hi, my name's William. I am 12 and a fact about myself is that I can name all of the actors for the doctors off by heart. My question is, if you could act in any Christmas movie, what would it be and why? Ooh, it's a nice Ooh. one. <laughs> Jodie, you've got your hand up. You go first. So it's not technically a Christmas film. Well, it's just, oh, what? That's naughty because he asked you for a Christmas film. But... Well, I'll give two answers then. Right. <laughs> right. It's not technically a Christmas film, but it's always on at Christmas. Go on. I'd be Elliot in E.T. I'd want to be Elliot in E.T. That's the least Christmas movie. It is a Christmas movie, but do you see what I mean? It's not like technical, because there's a bit of judgment there. One of you's judging. No, I agree with you. I think if it's on at Christmas and if there's any sign of snow in it or a bit of Christmas in the film, it's a Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, I'll give, it, I'll give my other answer, because this is all mm -hmm. about me. Mm -hmm. Elf. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great yeah. shout. <laughs> you bet. Please react like that to mine. Are you ready? Go on. Home Alone. Oh, yeah. Hey, get to do all them things to like a <laughs> mean baddie. Oh, would, I, uh, would I be the kid? Would I be the baddie? I'd be the baddie. William actually has, has more to ask and um, he goes even bigger. OK, my question is, who is going to be the next Doctor and do you have the power to choose? Ooh. Oh, we, we don't know. We're not in the inner circle. <laughs> if you had the power to choose. OK, we, d we genuinely don't know, but if we had the power to choose, you would pick. I'm going to choose Whoopi Goldberg because Whoopi Goldberg has expressed interest. And so she's up for it. I'm up for her being it. I think she'd make an amazing Doctor. I'm going to pick an actress who I think is really exciting and I think would be phenomenal is Lydia West. <gasps> oh, I'm obsessed with her from It's a Sin. Oh, yes. yes. And years and years. Jill, what? Jill. So and, and everyone needs is. to be more Jill. Yes. Oh, you know what? That is a brilliant idea. Next up is Rafferty. Hi, oh, I'm Rafferty then. and I'm into cycling and football and I'm eight. Who has been the worst doctor so far? <laughs> 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 and you have to answer it. Rafferty has asked the question. I'm going to go first, Jodie. <laughs> because if you stand it in her eye line, you get told off. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> now you have to answer. <laughs> no. You have to. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Jeff. As the doctor, they're all versions of me. I will not be seen to criticise myself, darling. Absolutely not. So we've got one. We've got another one from Rufus. Oh, OK. He's back. Rufus is back with another question. Um, my question is, have you ever stolen anything from the set? Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. On the, the last day of filming, someone sort of said, you know, we've finished in the TARDIS. I mean, they hadn't even finished their sentence. <laughs> and we, we were ran pulling riots it. off of the set. <laughs> or there were bits that were stuck in the TARDIS. I was like, no, Judds, they're glued in, we can't get them. She was like, I'm going to help you get it out. <laughs> Uh, I snapped some off, put it in my pocket, and then someone said, Wait, we're doing, we're doing pickups. We're doing pickups. I, but we weren't in those scenes. We were like, We thought we'd wrapped. No, you've wrapped. Okay, uh, my question for Jodie Whittaker is Can you speak Jadoon? Because one of my favourite moments in Doctor Who is when David Tennant speaks Jadoon. <sighs> I might be saying the wrong words, and you'll know better than me. Go, cool. so, show. <laughs> yeah? Did I do it? Did I do it? I don't know what she just did. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did it. What's the translation? Hi, I love you, all right? <laughs> is it? Did you just say, is it? No! <laughs> no, babe! <laughs> Can we just have that again one more time, yeah, please, yeah. Jodie? That was priceless. Cool, show. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, thanks so much for doing Kids Ass today. How, how was it? How did you find it? A little bit traumatising and humiliating, but it's all over now, so thank you. A little bit traumatising and humiliating. And the job here is done. Yes, <laughs> it is. Radio 1. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. Watch more great Radio 1 videos by following the links on screen now. For more great audio and video from the BBC, listen on Sounds, watch on iPlayer.